if I want to solve this, the first step I need to do is I need to solve it, but I need to set this equal to zero to use my calculator to solve. And I have an interval where I want my solutions. So my interval is from negative one to one. So the basically you, you subtract these two things over and you end up with secant squared seven x minus, when you minus this over, you minus four x squared. And when you, you add that over, you get plus one equals zero. So you moved everything over, it's equal to zero. So now you simply type this as your y1 and then you graph it and you find it zeros where it equals zero. I have an interval here because there's multiple answers and if I don't have an interval, you'd have a whole bunch. Okay, so we type it and here's where it gets hard is typing this. Secant is one over cosine. So you first need to do, you're gonna do the whole thing is one divided by, now, it's cosine squared. So I need a parenthesis, and it's cosine seven x. So it's cosine seven x, and you're squaring that, so it's cosine seven x squared. <coughs> then, you have to close the parenthesis because you have to bring that all together as one secant. So you had a, sec you had a parenthesis in front, you had a whole bunch of parentheses to keep track of because you need to close it down to be a secant squared 7x. That whole thing right there is secant squared 7x. Then you simply minus the 4x squared, add the 1, and you graph it. Now, when I graph that, I'm like, oh, that is ugly. That is really, really ugly. But what's my interval? Negative 1 to 1. So I go, okay. Um, that's not going to help because it has a whole bunch of zeros. But if we go to window and do negative one to one and graph it, it's nice. It shows us the ones we want. So how do we find out that coordinate and that coordinate where it crosses the x-axis? Well, you use this trace button right here you then want to find the, oops, you second trace, you want the zeros, and you kinda gotta walk your way over, it's kind of annoying. And you need to do a left bound, which is to the left of it, and then you need a right bound, you need to cross the x-axis. And then you always hit guess, because it's numerically approximating it. And it looks like your answer ends up being x equals 0 0.804. There's one answer. Now, does this graph look symmetrical? So wouldn't this one probably be negative 0.804? Yes, it is actually, but you want to check it just in case. Sometimes graphs look symmetrical and they're just a little bit off. I'm not going to actually find the other one right now, but it's the same process. You just grab it from this side, find the value, and it actually will be a negative. For this particular problem, it actually is a negative. Same answer. So you need to make sure you, you wouldn't want to make sure you check it normally.